YouTube. It's Triple G with the Scourge. That was the most creepiest opening I think you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, welcome guys to our next trailer analysis for the next trailer for the next Xenoverse 2 game, Xenoverse 2! Woohoo! Next edition. The next edition of Nexting Stuff. That sounds really sexual, but it doesn't. Nexting? It, it does. I'm gonna next that person. I'm gonna next that person. <laughs> I'm gonna next them good. Didn't that used to be an MTV show, Next? It probably the did. The next, the nexter. Anyway, we are super excited for this game. If you guys haven't seen our previous Xenoverse 2 trailer analysis, check that out in the description below. But uh, Bandai Nemco just came out with another trailer for this game. came out a couple of days ago, but we are going to watch through it. And uh, we've been told there's a shit ton of stuff added to this. So without further ado, let's press the play button. In three, two, one. Here we go. The epic orchestra theme. Alter history. It's the same kind of deal as before. Yeah. Except Dodoria. Oh, Broly. Oh, right? nice. Yeah. Got some new faces. Mm -hmm. Fucking Cooler shows up. Turles. There's so many movie characters. Oh, I know. Janemba. I love this. This really shows you how big the open world is. I know. There's a lot more NPCs, too, than the last game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those little floater things. Yeah, like hoverboards. That's awesome. And you can travel to other planets. Yes, more hub worlds. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what I like to see. Oh, nice. That looks cool. That mm -hmm. spaceship. <laughs> like there. Like it's in space too. Like outside. Oh, here we go. Nice. This is weird because like this this never happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Janemba, bitch. And Janemba. Yeah. And Super Gogeta, because he was absent from the last game, yep. and I thought that was really dumb. That was really dumb. But here he is! Yeah. In the mm -hmm. Planet Hill! Oh, man. Dimension Hill, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I'm surprised Lord Sog way. wasn't even a playable character. But here he is! But that was a nice exactly. punch. I love that. Bardock seeing uh, Blue Goku versus Golden Freezer. Yeah. So cool. Future Gohan. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, super attack, here we go. Boom! That move better be for custom characters. I know. I want mm -hmm. that so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! And your custom what? character can go Super Saiyan 3. Oh now. my lord, that's amazing. Sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. Right, so where do we even begin with this trailer? Do you want to begin? There's just well, so like, much awesome shit I want to talk about. I feel like this is going to be super long, but let's just try to go through the, some of the highlights. Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll just start from the beginning and, and just work our way through, I guess. Yeah, that works. Yeah, so... You see, it like, with Raditz here, it kind of looks like, um... It looks like the first game, in a way, mm -hmm. but, like... He's doing. They're doing poses and shit that they weren't doing in the first game, so it's not completely like a reused cutscene, if you know what I mean. Right. So it's it's new. Whatever's going on, it's just we'll have to wait and see what it is. Right. Like I don't remember there being a cutscene with with Nap and Vegeta like doing those kind of movements. I don't think they were controlled like that, were they? No. I think it was just. Well, actually, I think they were, but they went into that ape form. But I guess they're going to be fighting them more in their regular forms. Yeah. Or something. Uh, Krillin getting killed again, no surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have... Oh, so Dodoria. holy crap, so Dodoria gets control, so this is an alternate yep. version of when uh, Vegeta tries killing Dodoria and he can't kill him. Yeah, fucking ass, by the way. Yeah. And thank <laughs> the lord that the Namek saga looks significantly longer than it was in the last game. Yeah, because like I was worried that they were just gonna like copy and paste the Namek saga, but like as we can see, they've added a lot to it. Like Cooler shows up out of fucking nowhere. I know. Mm -hmm. I love Frieza's face. What the fuck? Yeah, like what are you doing here? It's my prick brother. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> love that. Uh, I wonder how it's going to affect the story though. Like, are you gonna have to to help Goku kill Frieza? And yeah. Cooler? 
I yeah. love that shot. Uh, I believe it's at 21 seconds where it has mm-hmm. uh, Turles, like almost like giving a hug to Goku. Yeah. Is he giving him a hug or is he trying to like squeeze him to death or something? I think he's kind of doing what Goku did when he grabbed Raditz. Because Goku looks yeah. happy right there. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is that? Yay! Fight? My best friend is a twin! <laughs> I have a twin! Oh, man. But, um. What's interesting about the Janemba shot is that Trunks is on the floor just before it cuts yeah. to Yeah. I mean, he's been fucking people left and right. And, yeah, and, he, and he's getting controlled, oh. so his power increases, like, by ten times. I have to say, a little, little uh, thing that they've added to the controlled character design that I love. Because um, in the first game, you remember, they were just kind of purple with red eyes and stuff, and it was kind of like, what? Yeah. Um, in this, uh, on their head now, even Broly earlier in the trailer, they have a, a mirrors marking that he has on his chest. I love that. It's kind of like mm-hmm. a reference to uh, Majin Buu. Mira and Toa, yeah. yeah. And Majin Buu, yeah. Love that. Because it's like, it, they always have symbols on their heads when they're controlled. That always they? does yeah. happen in the Dragon mm-hmm. Ball universe when someone gets controlled. Yeah. So moving on to about 25 seconds, um, so mm-hmm. Orange Star High School, which is where Gohan's school is, I wonder mm-hmm. if that has any significance at all, like can you actually go in there and explore and maybe like go to some classes to learn like different techniques yeah. or something? that'd be interesting. Maybe that's where you go to meet certain characters to help train you or something? Yeah. But I love the shot at, uh, at about 28 seconds where it just gives you a more open view of the yeah. world here. And it's like I was kind of figuring in the uh, last video. You can see some of the shops are kind of like out in the open, like in the last game, which is meh. Mm-hmm. But some of them are actually inside buildings. Yep. Which is a nice little touch. And it's, and, and it's and look, way bigger. Yeah, look how the road on the left with the trees goes off up into the mountains. Like, that's all. You can go there. You know what I mean? Different terrain. Like, that different terrain in one big hub world. It's so it cool. kind of looks like they go like different paths lead to different worlds almost. Like you see that mm-hmm. you see that purple archway lead somewhere. Mm-hmm. You see that giant yeah. yellow dome on the right that leads somewhere, and then of course you mm-hmm. have that path leading into the trees, leading somewhere else. So it's kind of like all the different universes just like mashed together, mixed together. Yeah, so awesome. Love that they did that. So. And like I said, there's more NPCs in the role, which is nice. But here's what this I'm looks like. here's what I'm skeptical about. Oh my god! So while it does look kind of fun in a way, when you're mm-hmm. on those little capsule corp um, hoverboard boards. things, yeah. have you noticed they literally go the exact same speed when you're <laughs> running on foot? Yeah, they do not seem to go any faster. Yeah. It looks like flying is still going to be the best mode of transportation. I don't. S- why would you not want to fly? Yeah. But anyway, if you uh, go to about thirty-four seconds here, you see uh, a Namekian-looking character mm-hmm. get transported instantly into another world. So it looks like mm-hmm. being able to, and again at about thirty-eight seconds, being that Saiyan-looking mm-hmm. girl gets uh, transferred to another world. It looks like being able to go to these other places happens like instantaneously. Yeah is really awesome and then i love that uh like this little spaceship you can explore with and then you yep. have that little captain ganyu dance of course mm-hmm. so what the hell are uh Turles and lord slug eating there what? right okay if for those who remember in, in the movie the tree of might uh Turles and his gang came to earth and planted a huge tree to take the planet's energy and that plant uh, that tree would actually produce fruit and when they ate the fruit it makes them like 10 times stronger oh yeah i so, remember so it looks like they must have done it to another planet, or mm. or maybe even Namek. We don't know. And they've taken its fruit, and now Lord Slug is eating it too, which never happened. Yeah. Oh man. I kind of noticed how uh, whenever someone gets in the control form, it looks. I don't know if it's just me, but the aura looks a bit different. It's like yeah. purple, black, even pink a little bit. Yeah. yeah. In addition to that mark they get. Hmm. Uh, but I love this fight between Goku and Cooler on uh, mm-hmm. Dying Namek. It just makes it all the more sweeter because when we did our review of, of Xenoverse 1, towards the end we said, why aren't characters like Janemba Co- and Cooler in it? Yep. And here they are. And here they are. Them. And yep. Dying Namek, like everyone's bitching that this game's graphics look the exact same as the last game. But mm-hmm. while that 
may sort of be true for the character designs. The world designs, I am going to disagree on. Just look at yeah, dynamic. Yeah. It it's looks so much better. Yeah, it's been polished, definitely. Yeah. And plus, because of the fact that they're... Ex plus, these levels look way bigger than they did in the last game. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think the uh, graphical design is a little bit better. Um, yeah. I kind of find it funny how the Doria is just beating the living piss out of Vegeta in that next clip. Yep. <laughs> but I, and if you noticed, I don't know if it's just me, but Zarbon seems way more powerful for some yeah. reason when he ha when he launches that weird yellow attack thing. Mm -hmm. I hope that Zarbon has his uh, monster form in it as well. Oh yeah, that'd be really awesome. You mm -hmm. have to fight that, and he's like way stronger than that form than he was in the yep. show. That'd be awesome. But, moving to one of my favorite parts of the trailer, Super Gogeta versus Janimba on mm -hmm. Hell. Yep. I have, I have complained, I complain about this so much to everybody. Why, why the hell wasn't Hell <laughs> a level mm -hmm. in Xenoverse 1? Because it was such a great level for other uh, Dragon Ball games like Tenkaichi and, and, Bu mm -hmm. and Shin Budokai. <laughs> exactly. Those levels are awesome. Why didn't they put one in Xenoverse? But I love that they put one in here. There's two things I wanted to say right off the bat about this level, um, is that one, I really appreciate, because I watched some of the gameplay uh, at the expo that this was revealed, mm -hmm. and um, those, like, crystal, they're basically meant to be, like, jelly beans flying around. Right. They, they actually move when you fly by them. Hmm. Like, if you, if you float by them, you can knock them out the way, and they'll float away. Nice. Which is really nice attention to detail. Uh, the other thing I'm a little bit worried about, though, is if you notice, see how Janemba's uh, putting his hand through like, the dimensions and hitting Gogeta. Yeah. Um, from what I remember, he that kind of wasn't one of his... Well, actually, he could do it in the film, but it was mostly, you know, big yellow Janemba that could do it. Mm. And it makes me wonder, um, is giant Janemba going to be a fight, or if they cut him out, you know? And that'd be a little bit disappointing if they had, but, I mean, Final Form is still cooler. Yeah. It still looks a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> Final Form is still cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Um, but yeah, I, I like that. Uh, how the I like the jelly beans, whatever, move around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I that would be cool if if Big Janemba's in it. But at the same time, I wouldn't be too mm -hmm. disappointed about it as long as we get a good chunk of the the Fusion and Born saga. Because mm -hmm. if it's literally just like one part of it, where it's like the ending fight, like yeah. wouldn't it be cool if, if you had to fight off like Fat Janemba or even Final Form Janemba as Goku yep. and Vegeta try to fuse? Yep. Because seriously, I, I'm just going to say this now, if they're doing, look at all, um, okay, my god, can I just say, look at the fucking environment, it looks so cool. Yeah. Look at all the spiked balls and stuff. Mm. Um, it's like my balls. <laughs> spiky balls, no, but if, um, if they're doing this movie, for the love of god, put Pycon in there. Oh, I know. Where, Where the, the fuck, fuck is, is he? Pycon? Yeah, <laughs> like we haven't seen him in ages. Put Pycon in it. Has he? Uh, is he in this trailer? I haven't seen him. No, he's not. Oh, and it, it, like you said, it would make sense if you're helping Pycon like protect Goku and Vegeta when they try to fuse. He like, should. That's be. how you should play. I think. Yeah. Maybe they thought they didn't feel it was necessary to put him in here, but if this, if they are going to do a, you know, a, a level or two in the story in Hell, based off Fusion of Born. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure Pycon will be in this. I'm pretty oh, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. if, if he, even if he's not a playable character, he should at least be in it. But for heaven's yeah. sake, if if they're trying to expand the content of this game and absolutely put Pycon in it, and I swear, I swear, yeah. if he becomes DLC, I'm making an angry rant video. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Pre-order now to get Pycon. Oh gosh, right. Put down fifty dollars, and then you can play as Pycon. Then later you can mm -hmm. you can unlock his super attack for five bucks. <laughs> no, I ain't worried about it. The DLC for Xenoverse was good. That that's a positive. I don't know if yeah. I mentioned it, but the DLC for Xenoverse oh, was. was always really good. They always added a lot. Yeah. Um, moving on to more of it, we so we're gonna have uh, Lord Slug as a playable character, mm -hmm. which is cool. Yep. I mean, you know, he's not my favorite character, but I'm glad you can at least play as him. And Again, it makes me wonder if they're going to even bother doing Giant Lord Slug. They probably won't, but we'll see. Maybe. I mean, mm. they they had the capability of fighting Giant characters in the last game, so I really yeah. hope they find a way where you can fight a lot of Giant characters instead of just apes. Because if yeah, you remember really in Xenoverse, it was just, you know, 
great ape Vegeta and then like the yep. super apes and the golden apes. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. you guys know how to program giant apes. Cool. What about the other giants? Exactly. So maybe. Yeah. All I can say is maybe. I hope so, though. Um, Indeed. But I just love that shot of him just, of that custom character just flying through the side and giving that mm-hmm. huge punch next to his face. Yep. But moving on to uh, one of the best shots of the trailer is, is Bardock is watching uh, them fight. I love but that. Yeah, you can, it, it, if you click it at just the right time, you can see blue-haired Goku fighting Golden Freezer yeah. just before they hit each other. It's really cool. So, yes, Bardock and Goku are going to meet and actually talk to each other. Mm-hmm. I wonder what they're going to say. That's never it's happened in any movies, any TV, anywhere. They've mm-hmm. never talked to each other before. Yeah, that would be so fucking cool to see. Like, what, what are these? What, what are they said? Would they get along? Would they not? Probably. I mean, Bardock could probably be proud of him. Maybe. Yeah. You know how Saiyans are, though. They're prideful. Mm-hmm. But if you look behind, Supreme Kai of time. I don't know if you noticed, but if you look behind Bardock, uh, you see all those NPCs behind him. Yeah. I wonder if if uh, Bandai Namco figured out a way to put a shit ton of NPCs in the levels without you know just the game completely crashing. I hope because so. that would be really cool. As if like if you're in this level and you get to fight like all of these, they'd be they'd be pretty weak, but you get to fight like all of these NPCs at once. Kind of like remember mm-hmm. how in Xenoverse where you fought all of those mini boos, and then yeah. occasionally you fought like about four or five at a time of Frieza's men. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if they figure out a way to just add like a shitload of. NPCs all at once. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. Would be nice. Yeah. So there's some more story stuff. Um, what one thing I do want to know uh, mention is that the Elder Kai is with them this time. Oh yeah, huh? He wasn't there before. Yeah. Hmm. And I wonder why the Supreme Kai, Supreme Kai of Time, is uh, just fainted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I have no. That's interesting. I wonder what happened to her. Well, we'll find out. Uh, we get some sort of shot where it looks like you and then Trunk is looking over at someone that's being controlled, mm-hmm. and mm. I can't for the life of me figure out what world they're on. They might be in the hub world, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I can't tell. It looks like what, what, what's that yellow thing behind your that custom? That's what character? I mean. I was going to say it might be one of the hub world shops, maybe, maybe. So will my dream come true that one of the last fights will be in the actual hub world area? I fucking hope so. That'd be awesome. Yeah. But whatever is happening here, it looks like it's, of course, you know, it should hit the fan because both characters Mm -hmm. are like, oh no. Yep. Uh, So we get uh, adult Gohan talking to Trunks. Oh, they ruined him again. Yeah. Why does he never have the missing arm? Why the fuck do they just not <laughs> like giving him a missing arm? <laughs> because we haven't figured out how to program that yet, Colin. Even in Tenkaichi 3, he had an arm, and that's considered one of the best games. And what's really, you know what's really stupid? If you watch his gameplay, in this game, mm-hmm. there is gameplay of him. He doesn't even use his other arm. Really? It might as well not even be there. Mm-hmm. Literally, he does one-handed Kamehameha's, and I'm like, for fuck's sake, Bandai, why didn't you just chop his arm off? I know. <laughs> uh. So here we get uh, one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite uh, Dragon Ball techniques. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. It's, um, I know it has- Oh! Oh, I, I think, I might be wrong here, but I swear it was called something like, um, Lightning Shower Rain, or something. something it has like different that. names. Yeah, it does. Um, Shin Budokai Jumbo gave in, it uh, one name. Tenkaichi gave it another name. Yeah, it did. Even yeah. even Raging Blast gave it a different name. Kind of like how in Xenoverse it was shocking Death Ball, but in the show it was Electric yeah, Eclipse. Kinda. It's, yeah, it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know I for I, I kind of thought it had the word sparkle in it. It might have actually. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever the move is, it's one of my favorite moves in the DBZ universe and. I, as I as you can see here, it looks like it's... I wonder if it's going to be like how it was in the other Dragon Ball games, where it's pretty much unblockable. Yeah, that, I mean, like... Because look how not, fucking huge that so. is. That looks more OP than that super electric attack in Xenoverse yeah. 1. 
if it, I hope it's blockable because otherwise you're going to get that spammed online. Oh yeah, yeah. especially if uh, if they keep the same uh, Super Saiyan uh, feature in Xenoverse Two, where if you power up and then you could just infinitely use super attacks, mm -hmm. that will be a bitch to avoid. They better fix that. Yeah, but here we have uh, Super Saiyan Three Goku fighting. Uh, Kid, Buu. Kid Buu, and it looks like you actually get to fight Kid Buu as Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which yep. is awesome, because why in the only unholy motherfuck of cunt f farts <laughs> could we not play as any Super Saiyan 3 character in the last game? Yeah, I know. But, here we go. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku fights him, and uh, it does look like they're adding more to the Buu Saga. Thank fuck. Because that really pissed me off. That was one of off. the most shit sagas in the whole last game. And it's supposed to be like the biggest, you know, yeah. craziest saga ever. It's the end of Z, for yeah. goodness sake. We'll get it right. right. Yeah. And then we get your custom character becoming Super Saiyan 3. I love it. It looks really nice. Like, mm -hmm. if you notice throughout the different parts in the trailer, when your character becomes Super Saiyan, it actually, the aura looks different, and the transformation lighting and stuff looks different when you become in this form. Because mm -hmm. something disappointing in the last game, Super Saiyan 1 and 2 were literally the exact same thing. The only yeah. difference was... I'm pretty sh well. Actually, I can't even remember because I know your uh, key drained a lot faster. Yeah. Did you did you get like plus ten percent attack power or something? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It it was pretty much unnoticeable, but mm -hmm. I really like this how it actually looked. Like, of course, the it's the hair, but the aura yeah. and the lighting itself just looks different which i love and of course they had it where he does a, that move is actually final kamehameha that's yeah. one of gogeta's moves which is nice i like how it's yellow mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be yeah well it has a bit of blue on the outside i think yeah See that? a little bit yeah some games some nice. games get the color wrong but yeah isn't it is isn't it yellow usually supposed to be stronger than blue or does it just doesn't matter i don't know really i i really don't know i guess it doesn't matter it's fucked up yeah, yeah. Um, there's a couple things I was going to say, is that, uh, you know, like, we, we saw things in the trailer like the, uh, s the Super Dragon Fist, which makes me think, mm -hmm. uh, because the only movie where Goku as a Super Saiyan 3 really used the Super Dragon Fist, the only movie where he used that exact move was against Hirudagan in Wrath of the Dragon, with that Tapion dude with the sword. So it's like, if the move is in the game... Does that mean we're going to get the saga as well? Are we going to get to fight Herudagon? I hope so. I really hope so. Because, you know, like we said, we need more giant characters, really. It'd be nice. And for fuck's sake, um, put in more of the GT series in this. Yeah, I, I, I know that GT characters are still in this game. And for the life of me, I hope we get some super characters as well. Probably. Like Hit, for example, would be nice. If anything, they're going to be DLC, but I know they're going to be in the game. If we get Black Goku DLC, I will cry. Like, I will. I will scream like a little girl because I want to play. Because to be fair, they've been working on this game before that saga even came out, so I imagine they're mm -hmm. probably gonna just do that as DLC, which is fine. And we're gonna get another version of fucking Trunks that plays the exact same as the last one. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Except this one will have blue hair. The um. The thing I did want to mention as well is, you know how you were talking about Super Saiyan 3 custom characters and stuff? Yes. Think about this for a minute. Super Saiyan 3. Female Saiyans. Whoa. That's never happened before. That'd be really cool. What on, what on earth are they going to I kind of want to play you know as I mean? a female now. Yeah, like, what is going to happen? Because you know how, like, the Super Saiyan 3 face has, like, no eyebrows and stuff? Right. It looks kind of like, like, their, their forehead kind of comes out a bit, if mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck are the females going to look like? <laughs> Man, if they lose their eyebrows, they'll look piss ugly. Yeah, it's going to be weird. What would they like, look like the just fuck? in the base Super Saiyan form? Is their hair going to like mm. stick up like a fo like a giant fohawk? I can't remember, because I know some of them could do it in the last game, and I don't remember what happened to the hair. Like, I but think I part of it three. still stays down, but the top of it spiked up a little bit. Unless they'd be sexist and only give Super Saiyan 3 to the male Saiyans. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's like, here's the Super Saiyan 3, you want to buy this technique, you have to be a male Saiyan only. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
so much controversy would happen if, if, uh, if they do that. And the last thing I was going to bring up is throughout all of these trailers we've seen characters getting possessed but we haven't for the life of us seen Mira or Toa in any of the trailers yet. Well, so I'm, like, I'm pretty sure because they want people to think that like they're they're dead or something. Yeah. Which in the last game they did run away, but I guess they're trying to hype it up as uh, mm -hmm. they're they're dead. No, they're not. It's like we haven't seen them yet. We know they're probably in it. I I would like to say maybe if I'd like them to be redesigned a bit, maybe maybe that's just me wishful thinking. But I want to see like what they're you know why why they're back and stuff again. You know, are they just trying to do what they were doing last time, or do they have some kind of other plan? And again, who the you fuck know? is the main villain going to be? Yeah, which is why I kind of really want, you know, I told you that Xeno Bardock, that, you know, possessed Bardock with the mask. Because that happened in, in Dragon Ball Online. Mira and Toa took Bardock and, and gave him this mask thing and sent him out through time to fuck shit up. Yeah. And we've been seeing a lot of Bardock in these trailers and it's like, come on guys, please show us a villain trailer where we get to see t mo t mo uh, uh, Moa and Tira. <laughs> we get to see <laughs> Mira and Toa with Xeno Bardock. That would be awesome. Yeah, what if they just show like a quick clip of uh, Barma mm -hmm. just killing someone and then yeah. Goku's like... <sighs> mm -hmm. I would love that. Oh, shit. Shit would hit the fan. And then Goku's forced to fight his father. Because mm -hmm. I remember in one of... I think in online, when Bardock got out of the mind control, he got well. He got so pissed at Mira. Like, he went mm. crazy on Mira. I'd love to see that in this game, you know? Yeah, what if like she... What if like they're controlling him and then Goku is like trying to calm him down but you're forced to fight him... And then mm -hmm. uh, maybe Bardock like kills someone because he's under control, and then yeah. maybe he like beats Goku to near death, and then Goku's like mm -hmm. begging him not to kill him, and then yeah. then suddenly Bardock gets his uh, mind back, and then he just fights and beats the shit out of uh, yeah, Noah, that'd be out of Mira, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. But awesome, man! We got a lot more goodies shown in this trailer, which I'm even more excited for it. So the next trailer better have fucking PyCon. Oh, yeah. Um, I I we hope we at least some villains. yeah I hope we at least yeah. get to see Mirren somewhere in in that yep. more characters uh, just show us more levels don't show too much you don't want to you know give away the whole thing oh one more thing before we go hmm. here's worth talking about because we did a whole review about this and things don't you just love jo Josh don't you just love super armor. Don't you just love super armor? Unbreakable super armor. <laughs> you know, we can have Janemba, and we're like looking forward to the fight, and then the game's just like, here, have some super armor so you can't fucking punch him. Because I guarantee that's what it's going to be like, and I hope they fix that. Oh, like, Lord. It was so annoying. I, I remember that, where it was the. Yeah. It was the. But what was the other mm -hmm. term you called it? Uh, um, we, we were saying like anti-flinch and stuff. If you know anti-flinch, I mean. yeah. Flinch oh, that was so annoying. Yeah, and what's even worse is that it was like ten times worse when it was a when it was a possessed character. And look at this trailer; it's full of possessed characters. It's like, oh my god, is it going to be super armor up the ass or like what? Uh, oh, I remember fucking uh, the Migra when he was oh, overpowered and you could not yeah. win a hit because the game didn't let you. Oh. That was so stupid. And you had Trunks, who was possessed, trying to fuck you up as well. So annoying. Like, let us hit him, but just give him more health. Mm hmm Like, that was so stupid. They better fix that. Yep. Anyway. We are even more hyped for it, and I can't wait for the next trailer. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe.